giant prolapse. Now that I got your attention, today we'll be trying out a few different weapon XP methods to get our marksman rifles all the way to max level. So normally I get my weapons leveled up on stream, but I've been having some computer issues and I don't want to risk my computer just completely crashing in the middle of the stream and ruining the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and record the leveling process instead. And I figured, you know what? Let's try out a few different methods. So obviously, since I don't have these things leveled up, I don't really have a build for them yet. Uh, I'm going to try to, you know, create one as I go. But for our first method, we're going to just try playing normal multiplayer, but with this class right here using the decoy grenade with the extra tactical perk resupply and overclock. And obviously with our extra tactical perk, we get extra decoys. And every time we throw out a decoy and it distracts somebody, we get XP not only for our player, but for the weapon that we're holding. So we're going to get a bunch of those. With resupply, we get those back. So we keep getting more. And then with overclock, that helps us get our field upgrade faster. And I think we can hold two of them. And when we use our DDoS here, we get points for every player that we DDoS and for all the equipment on the ground that we DDoS as well. I have seen some other people use like, what is it called? The smoke airdrop? Yeah, right here. Or like suppression mine. I personally think that the DDoS works the best, but maybe we'll switch it up a little bit. And we have all of these marks and rifles to level up. So let's go ahead, hop in and start getting these things leveled. So like I mentioned, we'll be trying a few different methods today. We're starting out here with multiplayer, but I'm going to be playing Invasion, DMZ, and Warzone as well to see what gives us the best XP. Now, multiplayer is the one I go with the most. I feel like this one's the most consistent and the one that I, I don't get as bored with because I can still kind of work on like the leading camo challenges all the way up to gold at the same time. Oh, geez, I need to work on my aim. But this method does kind of take a while to level up an entire class. It takes me like four hours to get an entire class done which is like not the greatest. But what I want to get to first today is I just want to thank you guys. We just hit 160,000 subscribers, which is insane. Uh, it feels like not too long ago, we just hit 150. So that's a massive growth since the start of this game. And I, I just really appreciate you guys. I, I am so grateful for the opportunity just to, you know, make videos and play games for what, you know, what I do for a living. And it's all, all made possible because of you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you guys for making this dream a reality. In other news, this Mark II Carbine's f***ing sick. Uh, that might be a little too early in the video. I might have to censor that out. Uh, YouTube don't like swearing that early. But this thing is so fast, and I have hardly ever get hit markers with this. I think the only time I get hit markers is like chest and below. But this thing has like the fastest ADS time of anything I've ever seen, and I think I only have one attachment on this. I don't even remember what it is. And it can't be anything good, because I don't think I have like a whole lot of the, att the attachment slots unlocked. But we should be getting some decent XP here. You know, domination usually isn't the best for XP, but it's pretty good for getting kills. And kills give you 100 XP or 200 XP, depending on where they're standing. Oh, was that a clat? Oh, I, I hit marked him through the clat. That's crazy. But mainly before like shoot house was added, I would play uh, just kill confirm just that game mode and pick up as many tags as I can. But I feel like the amount of tags I'll get like picking them up on planes, say like border crossing or whatever would be significantly less compared to the amount of XP I get for just getting kills on shoot house. So I feel like it balances out. I'm going to be trying to play the objective as much as I can. Sometimes I forget my little peanut brain can't hold that much information in at once, but we're going to be trying. Also, I, I forgot to mention, I do have score streaks on and I have UAV, counter UAV and advanced UAV because if I do end up getting enough points to get an advanced UAV, that's crazy. That's crazy XP. And I'll get extra points for uh, each kill my teammates get under a UAV. And I think uh, just extra points for the counter UAV being up helps too. But I'm waiting until I see a few devices in range here for my DDoS. Yeah, I, I like... Just kind of using it when I have it. That way I get like as much out of it as I can. That way like I can already start like working on charging up the next DDoS. But you get so much when there's just, like two or three devices in range. Oh, I just had three right there and it went away. Okay. We got we to gotta claim more there. Only 35 XP. Not great. But the... Oh, oh, wait. How did that not kill me? I just dove right through that. But the, the amount of XP you can get per DDoS is pretty crazy. I, I've seen like plus 20 for each player you get, sometimes plus 60 for each player that you DDoS. And then on top of that, it's every equipment on the ground. So like the ceiling is pretty high on it, but for the most part, you'll probably only be getting 20 or less if you're not doing it against like a bunch of things to DDoS. I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of just spewing shit out of my ass. I'm trying to remember all the things that you can DDoS as I'm doing this. I don't have a whole lot of brain space. So normally what I do when I spawn is I just start tossing decoys absolutely everywhere where I think somebody could be just all in like the enemy like view, view lanes. What the fuck is that called? Sight lines? That's probably a better term for it. And it usually works out pretty well for me. Oh, right there. We got 130 XP just from DDoSing. That's like more than a normal kill. But if you're kind of like struggling with SBMM, like you're getting your, your teeth kicked in and stomped, 
this uh, probably isn't the best for it because this raises your score. Like you can see right here, I only have 16 kills. Uh, I guess I would still be second on the leaderboard. I was just first a second ago. I'm only 15 score underneath, but it raises your score per minute. And I think that's kind of what SBOM goes off of. I think there's a few factors that go into it. It's like KD, score per minute, the weapon you're using, and maybe like your class layout. Because I feel like whenever I'm using a certain type of gun, I end up running into more people using that gun. Like if I'm sniping a lot, I end up getting in lobbies where just everybody's sniping. If I'm using shotguns, I end up finding people that are using shotguns more. And it was the worst when I was using the riot shield. I feel like I kept running into people that had riot shields on their back already. So it was making it tough to get melee kills. But I don't know if any of that's confirmed to go into SBMM. That's just kind of my theory on it. A game theory. I'm gonna try to capture like every flag I get. I think hard point's really good for this. Because you get like... 10 points per like per every like few seconds that you're on the hard point on top of that you get like defender points awarded for every kill you get while you're on there it's actually pretty good oh wait last stand little bitch i should have probably checked what level i was at at the start of this game i'm sure i can go back in footage and see it i'll put it up right here editing joe don't fucking forget to do it but i'm pretty sure i've leveled up my weapon at least once this game which is you know not awful if you're getting one level per game not terrible but it also could be so much better because if there's 29 levels for a gun playing 29 games with it is not the greatest you know uh xp to get and it seems like the DDoS is pretty inconsistent now. I just used it right there and it didn't get that guy inside of this little wooden building. Maybe he doesn't go through walls anymore, but we did finish with the highest score here and not even the highest kills. So after one game of multiplayer, we went from, I think, level 11, maybe early on. I'll put it on screen again to level 12 and a half. So now that we've tried multiplayer, let's go ahead and try invasion. Uh, I'm going to tweak my class a little bit for invasion. Instead of DDoS, I'm going to go ahead and throw on attack insert. That way I won't have to do so much running once we're in game. And I could replace scavenger with like double time so i'm running a little faster but i feel like i'm gonna forget to change it back and then you can't edit your perks in game so i'm gonna leave it like that now is there anything i can add to this mark two to make it a little bit better for invasion i think this barrel will probably be better if i can throw a silencer on here for some damage range that would be nice and then maybe an optic this is gonna be such a, a weird build let's throw on a four times why not we'll try to snipe with this thing we'll throw on the high velocity ammo too oh wait there's a new lever rechambering accuracy don't care so just another look at our xp for our lockwood before we hop in and let's see how much we get from one game of invasion all right invasion what do you got for me besides low frame rates at the start invasion was super popular when this game first released for level grinding because there is a lot of ai in this and they're not very smart again it's probably gonna be me getting pounded by the ai this whole game just because i said something about it but you do get weapon xp for killing the ai you won't get any like camos or like you know weapon and camo progress but you do get xp for it which is super sick uh, i i use this method for getting my launchers leveled up and i wish the game would stop stuttering for two fucking seconds i don't know what stutters more me or the game okay we have a bunch of ai over here we'll throw a few decoys out for them i don't know if decoy distracts ha happen on ai i could be wrong But we did get one kill there before we got picked off. But my plan here is to try to get as far over to the enemy side as possible. Try to find a building that's kind of out of the way that I don't think that they'll try to push into. And put down my tack insert. Because I'm pretty sure the AI is attracted to field upgrades. Not sexually. But they'll just kind of run right at them. Like they always try to like destroy the field upgrade for some reason. So if I have it set up in a building kind of away from people and close to an AI spawn. Then we could be in business to make some good XP here. And of course, killing other players helps out too. Oh, there's a guy right up here. Lele. I got killed by self-lubing bussy. Did I read that right? Yeah. So I'm going to try to get into like this beige building over here. Which beige building am I talking about? Find out next time. I'm going to try to put my tack insert not in the most obvious spot. I'm going to put it, um, can I go into here? Oh, sick. I'm going to put it on the bed just so when I respawn, I'm cozy. And then uh, we'll just try to pick some people off. Got a dude right here. Lele. Another guy right here, Lele, and got to remember to throw my decoys out. Oof. Okay, we already leveled up, and the game just started, basically. Oh! Okay, that's cool. We already set down our attack insert. That's not a big deal. Just got to really make sure I don't hit to cancel, because F is the respawn key, but it's also the cancel your attack, or your, your attack insert key for some reason. Oh, shit. How did you find where it was so fast? That's the same guy that just killed me. He just so happened to be right next to me? All right, whatever, dude. Ooh, eat that. That guy's dead. I wonder how long the decoy like distract distance is. Because if I just throw it down this long highway that I know people snipe down, 
Will I be getting like decoy distracts from it? Did I just get killed by a money? I think a money killed me. We got a money war going on. So far, this has not been a very fruitful game. I made it to one spot, got one level, and then I, I just been dying ever since. That's like the, the kind of the downside to this. Sometimes you can have like a really good game and just get like nothing but like AI kills, rack up XP. And then other times it's just a running simulator. And then if you don't put your attack insert down before you die, you gotta run all the way back from spawn. But I think the further your team pushes up, the further that you'll spawn. I think that's the whole point of invasion. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little different. We're gonna push up a little further. And these AI have armor now, so I'm kind of scared. This thing does not one shot anymore. But let me try putting down a attack insert behind the desk. Okay, that's probably not a very good spot for it. Someone's definitely gonna notice that like this guy i wonder if he's looking right at it i feel like i should cancel it but there is a chance that i shit out of him when i spawn so i'm doing it i'm gonna throwing knife him in the mouth oh eat it bitch oh no too much ai but also while i'm doing this running simulator i've seen some of you guys like my pokemon updates so i'll give you another one uh i have beat the elite four and i've beaten like the team star thing i think i have my full team set besides like one pokemon i'm waiting to switch it out once i get to like all the the cool new forms it's still the same team as before but uh i've basically done everything and i'm in like the big crater now i'm not gonna spoil anything for some people that haven't gotten to that part or still want to play the game. But uh, I'm basically like at end game. I'm trying to get like to the point where I unlock like the seven star raid. So that way I can do like the Charizard event when it comes back. I'm pretty sure there's like a Salamence and a Tyranitar event coming soon. So that's been pretty cool. I want to I want to get to the point where I can just nail those raids and just build like absolute monster teams. I kind of want to play like ranked in that game. But also I've been seeing some people say like make videos on Pokemon stream Pokemon. I don't know if YouTube would like it too much if I just switch game categories, but I might be down to stream it on Twitch if there's uh there's enough uh people asking for it. So let me know if that's something you want to see cuz I still want to like complete the whole Pokédex. I want to get the shiny charm and I want to shiny hunt some Pokemon too. Let me know if that'd be something if you guys would be interested in. Ooh. Come on, let's go. Fuck you, little bitch. We've gotten pretty far back here now. And we can just pick off this AI. If they weren't three shot kills, and if I could aim, no, four shot actually. There we go. This thing is not that strong from range. Okay, we got two levels. Already more than we got from our multiplayer game, but we have not been very efficient this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Most of the time I see people just going up to the bots and meleeing them with their weapon because it's a little easier and, you know, you can save some ammo doing it. But uh, these guys are armored and I'm scared, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe early game, it's a little more efficient to just melee. Come on. There we go. I don't think I've gotten a single, like, decoy distract this game. Uh, but now that we're closer to their spawn, I'm tossing them back in there to see if that does anything for them. I can't believe how many shots I just missed on that guy. That is ridiculous. And now I'm out of ammo. Is there an ammo crate nearby? Okay, there's one down here. Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, we ball. I'm grabbing it. This is a very risky spot to be sitting at. But we can get a few kills here. Oh, get down. I wonder if me having a throwing knife on actually counts for XP for meleeing for this. I think it did for the launchers. I think that was a big strat for the launchers, so maybe it will for here. But I'm dead. Good thing I had attack insert, though. That was pretty close. Ooh, nice try, buddy. Let me throw down another one. And you know what? Let me throw up a UAV. That should give me some nice XP. Ooh, a quick one-two on him. And I'm getting fucked up now. And that is the game. So 3,380 score, but we got two levels. Maybe a little more. Bars. Okay, so two levels there. Oh, almost three. So three levels versus one level? A lot better, but I do find Invasion a lot more boring. Next, I want to try DMZ. I heard the DMZ XP rates are crazy. Where is DMZ at? So what we're going to do is change our insured weapon. Where is Marksman Rifles? Let's throw our Lockwood on here. Let's make a nice DMZ class for it. We'll have a silencer. Basically going to be the same thing as our last build. This barrel, maybe instead of a four times optic, we just go with the two. Or maybe no optic because I'm just a G like that. Uh, let's get high velocity rounds. We should have an aim steadiness stock, but we don't have that unlocked yet. So we can use this laser that has aim stability, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire, but the laser is visible. Don't care. Whoever sees the laser gonna die anyways. And then we can use this comb. So we will equip that. Uh, I'm gonna throw on a throwing knife here, a decoy here, and a munitions box. And I think we're good. I'm not gonna go with anything valuable though. All right, let's go ahead and deploy. 
Let's get in there. So what would be the most efficient thing to do? Probably kill AI is pretty good. Visit PO, uh, POIs, points of interest, because we already got 250 just for spawning in. And there's a contract over here we can do. We can also like sell some things, buy some things. I think that gives XP just as long as we don't die. Even if we do die, we'll probably end up coming out with a pretty decent amount. But X filling is what we really want to do. Ooh, and extra munitions. I'll take that. Okay, so what's our contract here? Destroy two enemy supply sites. I'm pretty sure I've tried to do this one before. And it was stupidly difficult, especially with only one person. I think DMZ is a three person mode. Let's try it. 7,500 though is like criminally low for the amount I'm about to do for them. So it wants to go to these bomb sites, but I'm going to loot along the way. I don't think there's a time limit on the events, but there's a time limit on how long we can be in here though. Okay. We're pretty close to the site. I really don't want to die like right off the bat. I don't have a self revive. I have no way to get back up if I go down. I only have like a one armor satchel too. But we'll take these guys out. There we go. Already a level. I think we're already close before. Oh, shit. Now they're going to start rushing me. Ooh. Get out of here. Give me that armor. Where are your buddies at? Here's one. Lele. Oh, there's a guy right there. What the fuck are you doing hiding around the corner? Damn, dude. Oh, stronghold key card. I will be holding on to that. All right. It's search and destroy now. We're planting the bomb. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Do they try to defuse this or what? Or does it just blow up? Or do we have to plant them on both before they even blow up at all? I don't think I've ever completed this. What's up, Yum Yum Burger? Glad to see you're still in business. There's a lot of bots over here, though. I'm kind of scared. I'm just going to throw a decoy over there and see if that does anything for them. Okay, the supplies just now got destroyed. I wonder if it dropped any money for that. Should I have waited around there? Oh, shit. Are these actual people? They are. Holy fuck. I'm out of here. I'm throwing a decoy in the corner and I'm leaving. Okay, new plan. Survive. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I might have lost them. I wonder if I can go all the way to the roof and just like parachute over to where I'm supposed to be. Let's try that out. Hopefully there's not a bot or a person waiting at the top of this rope. I'll be pissed. Don't be here. Cool. What's going on, high rise? Nice to see you. I'm going to start near this building and kind of assess the site first. First, let's throw down this munition box since we already have another one. It's not a waste. We'll equip this one. This is item already equipped. That, that's a fucking lie. We have one guy there. It's right outside a stronghold though. And they just dropped off a bunch of other troops. So my thing is, if I can throwing knife them and maybe stealthily take them out, I might be able to plant the bomb without alerting all the other troops. Let's try that out. But I don't know how much stealth works in this game. The AI is kind of fucking wonky. Okay, sneaking up. I wonder if I can plan it without him knowing. Okay, he screamed a little bit, but he got hit by my knife. And I don't think the rest know I'm here. So I'm going to plant this and I'm going to run back across the street. Because I think I they have a chance to defuse it. Oh, they're shooting at me now. They for sure know I'm here. Oh, and they're sending in reinforcements. I'm going upstairs. They want to chase me. I'll fight them off at the top for as long as I can and then jump off. Look at them all run towards the bomb. Leave it alone. They better not defuse this shit. Oh, we got it. Let's go. So we only got 250 XP for completing that contract, which kind of sucks. I'm going to fly towards this car and I'm getting out of here. Get in. Drive. We're out. Lele. Uh, we do have a stronghold key card now, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So let's go try to take on one of those. Oh, wait. Nearby safe locations revealed. Let's go there. Let's go get some money and then try to spend it. Then we go to a stronghold. Or maybe there's be a stronghold nearby there. Oh, there's actually a stronghold right here. Might as well get it on our way. But this thing's already like open. I guess they didn't put the stronghold door on right. But I know there's always like riot shield guys that come out for this. Give me that cash. Ooh, let's defuse this. Get that out of here. Let's go slowly up the stairs since they already have traps here. Yep, good thing we did. Is there no enemies in here? What is the point? Oh, large backpack. Let's go. Oh, there is people. Oh, that almost killed me. There's one guy waiting behind the door. What was this Five Nights at Freddy's? Get the fuck out of here. Bro, this is a fucking scam. I didn't get anything from here. All right, maybe we'll get something good from this safe. We gotta drill it open. This drilling fucking takes forever. There better be something good in here for all this time I'm taking. I hear footsteps. Got one. Oh, there's a lot. They're still in here, but they went downstairs. The safe's open though. Oh shit. You're not taking me out. And after all this work, what is in here? Money is in here. Let's go. I got 26,000. Where's the shop? Right down the road. Let's go to it. So what happens if I buy a two-plate armor vest? Oh, shit. I'm getting shot. Stop it. Is that a player? I don't think so. The way they're standing looks weird. But we just got a level. Can I get a three-plate? Oh, I don't have enough for that. I can buy a self-revive. And buy a gas mask. And then let me sell my shit. There we go. Might as well just burn all my money. I'm buying armor plates. 
I know this was a thing in Warzone, buying armor plates for XP. Maybe it's a thing here too. We'll see if that's, this does anything. I'm just going to waste all my cash right here. We have eight minutes, so we can do like one more thing. Let's go to this stronghold and try that out and then try to exfil. That's the one I was already at. I'm a fucking idiot. All right, where's a different one? Oh, I'm almost out of gas. That's unfortunate for these guys. Get hit by the car. Oh, shit. Ooh, that guy kind of got fucked. I thought he was going to kill me. We got shitted on instead. But we got to be fast with a stronghold. I just have to make sure I, I'm leaving this place with at least three minutes left. So I have to be fast going through here. A lot of guards out front, though. One of them's down. Another one's down. Oh, no, I'm down. Okay, good thing I have a self-revive, though. Maybe I shouldn't risk this. Maybe I should just go for the exit and get out with, you know, my life. Nah, I ain't a bitch. I'm gonna at least try to get a little something from in here. Let's unlock the door. Oh, right shield fucker. No, 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 no. See, this is what's not gonna happen. Okay, this might happen. It, it's v very likely that this will happen. I, I shot that guy and he, he clipped through the wall. No, you're not allowed to open the door on me. And now he's blocking the door. I can't do anything. Uh, um, stop. What about that? Maybe I use my words. Knock it off. Fucker. You happy with yourself? Hmm? I'm just one guy. Look at him. Emotionless. He does not care what he's done to me. Okay, yes, he does. Stop. Why you should- I'm on the ground. You know what? Yeah, take me out. Go ahead. Go for it. That wasn't very nice. Show me the weapon XP. Okay, that one. Okay, twice. Almost three times. Okay, that's not bad. But since we did die, we lose our insured slot. So we can't even really do that again if we wanted to. On to Warzone. All right, for Warzone here, I went ahead and threw in the Mark II into a class. It's definitely not the best class, but the point is just to have it in our hands so we can level it up. And loadouts don't drop until super late in the game, but I think you can buy like one weapon or you can just buy your weapons from the buy station if you have enough money. So I'm gonna try that. But we are starting at just about level 17. We're, we're at level 16.9. Like so let's hop into a solo. All right. So I think what the strat is, is try to do one of these like vault contracts to get some money. Then you go to the store and buy something or you go to the store and buy your weapon. So I'm going to try to do that. And then once we get our weapon, I'm going to try to do even more contracts. Is anyone else going for this contract? I don't think so. I think we're in the clear. All right, let's start this one right away. And I'm being hunted right away too, which is great. It'd be sweet if I, we could just find our Mark II on the ground to start out. But I don't think we get that lucky. Okay, now I'm being hunted. It's at three bars. I'm going to have to fight for my life over here, but we might as well start this up. Okay, he just tried to throw a stun in here. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Nice try, buddy. Thanks for the armor, dipshit. Can I please pick the gun up, though? That's a huge fucking downfall of this game. And there's a revive pistol right here that I also can't pick up. Come on. Oh, my God. The looting system in this game sucks. All right, let's get this other safe open. And there's only one safe left. Let's go knock that out real quick. Go ahead and open up. Sick. Give me all that money. Oh, we have a mortar strike. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. Throw out that. Let me just send a mortar strike over here just because we have an extra one. And now let's go to the shop and try to buy our gun. Nobody's been to the shop yet. Sick. Uh, primary weapons. Give me my Lockwood. Thank you. And what else can we get? A UAV. Why not? We we'll use that. And then give me a DDoS just because. You know, and a suppression mine. I'm going to throw a suppression mine down at the shop. So it looks like there's somebody up here. But we want to do some contracts. I don't really want to get into too many fights. There's some safe contracts over here that we should probably head to. But just because I know there's somebody over here, let's try to hit him with a mortar strike. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and shoot for me. I wonder if that'll get him. I probably should have grabbed that car before I called him the mortar strike. But I'm scared if I go over there now, it'll kill me. It looks like we're on the run. Oh, now I'm getting sniped at. Leave me alone. What about that? Huh? You ever think about that? You ever about, think about mining your fucking business over there? All right, now where's this contract at? Oh, here it is. Perfect. Ooh, a, a cluster mine. I'll hang on to that for a little bit. And I have to head into the direction where I was getting sniped at for this. Maybe a car will make it easier. What's this guy going to do? Snipe me out of my car? I don't think so. I'm just going to park it right here, though. And we'll start blowing this safe up. Give me that money. Oh, a UAV. Let's call that in real quick. See if he's nearby. Oh, he is. There's two people nearby, actually. Very close nearby. Here, have a cluster mine. There he is. There's our boy. Okay, that hurt a little bit. I'm just gonna take my money, put down a claymore in here, and we're gonna move. Oh, you know what? Decoys give a lot in Warzone. Ooh, 600 XP from that. You see that? Decoys are nutty in Warzone. Ooh, and I got him with the cluster mine. Get fucked. Let me go back and uh, get my rewards from that. What'd you have in here? Some money for me? Very nice. Very thoughtful of you. I'll throw down a suppression mine just in case you want to come back to your stuff. Now let's go to our last safe. Oh shit. There's a guy right here though. Oh, he for sure sees me. 
DDoS. And we're running and we're dead. I don't know why I just tried to run. I probably should have at least tried to shoot him. It's whatever though. I'm sure he won't pick our weapon back up. And if we can get out of this gulag, we might be able to go grab it. All right, it's gulag time. We got the revolver. That's not great. It's all right, we're getting out of this alive. Oh, this guy's got a smoke detector on. No, we're not. Wait. Can't find me. Okay, yes, you can. We are eliminated. Sick. And we got 2,000 XP from that. I don't know if I like Warzone for this. We did not complete that contract, so I don't know. So after trying all those modes, playing one game of each with our Mark II, we are only level 17. And what level did we start this at? Like 11? Six levels out of four modes? That's not great. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me get all these things leveled up. Uh, I might just like watch a show, eat some food and try to like mindlessly grind out all these levels. But through these few games, I think Invasion gave us the most XP per game, but it was the most boring in my opinion. And I think I'm probably just going to play multiplayer to get the rest done. So let me know if you have any weapon XP methods of your own. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe there's something way better you can do. I know there was a few glitches a while back, like with a suppression mine on a tank or whatever. But that's where I'm going to end today's video. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.